Hello. In this video we're going to talk about the concept of constraints to do with your software development and just generally with your projects. So a constraint is a limitation that's been placed on you in terms of what's available to you or ways that you have to do things. Uh, the most common one that's cited is time and money. You might have to get a project done within six months. You might have to get it done for $5,000 or for $5 million. But either way, these are both constraints and you would acknowledge them in your documentation. You might be constrained in terms of the programming languages that you have to use. You're certainly not in terms of um, your SAT and also in the exam. In the exam they don't actually talk about specific programming languages, but a programming language might be a constraint. Likewise, hardware or an operating system might be a constraint. So you might be wanting to use something that runs on a particular chipset on a computer or that has to run on Windows or it has to run on Mac or it has to run on Linux or Android or all those things. Um, all of these would be constraints if they're things that yeah, they have to do. Um, safety, of course, is probably, yeah, I guess actually, no, yeah, there should be safety constraints. And these would be tied to ethical constraints like we will, you know, do what is right, um, but also we will comply with various laws, and that includes privacy constraints. So this also connects with, you know, your 1998 Privacy Act and your Copyright Act would be a constraint. And if you're in Victoria, then the um, 2014 Act would also be a constraint. So a constraint is all of these things that actually limit what you can do in terms of solving this problem. They are limitations that you have to adhere to. 